it also keeps the uh, caterpillars from dropping down into the dirt and so on. We keep them safe here as they wander around. I'm going to do the second one. And I found this works really well to be able to have the pots with dirt in them and um, that I can water and keep keep the plants alive uh, while they're in the habitat. And then I can add cuttings. It's interesting, I found that a lot of the milkweed cuttings, if I keep them in water after the, the leaves have all been eaten off by the caterpillars, they actually root again and uh, form new plants. So it's an easy way to get more milkweed uh, without waiting for the seeds to grow, because it takes a lot longer for that to happen. Well, that's kind of clever. And also, it would keep, when you say it keeps them getting down into the dirt, uh, if, if they fall, and sometimes they do, landing on that uh, paper will make their fall a little bit easier. It won't be as hard. Yeah. Now, do you also have some sort of provision for them to move back and forth from plant to plant? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, the first thing that I do is place the plants so that one branch or more touches and they can, they can move around pretty easily. They, they are pretty agile. Um, even the really tiny ones? Even the little tiny ones. It's amazing how far they can get and how quickly if they're determined to go. Um, but uh, the other thing that I do is I use small little skewers like you might use to do kebabs on or something. Like the one you've got to the left there? Yeah, like this. And I stick these in and they serve two purposes. Uh, one, they give the uh, caterpillars a place to hang out when they're molting. And they like to go climb up something and just hang out for a day or two until they shed their skin each time and the sticks they seem to really enjoy because the other caterpillars tend to leave them alone and uh, they can uh, they can go about their their quiet time if you will so that gives them a chance to stay out of the way of the restaurant traffic absolutely and then I also use these or longer ones like this that can stretch from pot to pot and later on when they're ready to uh, start going up to chrysalis we use these to give them a walkway up to the top of the habitat as well. That's so great. They're very handy. And you'll show us when we get these all inside and how you uh, put it together and space them out so they can live and breathe and work and eat. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. We'll have a little okay. bit to and I do spray the leaves of the plants uh, at least once a day, again, because our uh, humidity here is very low. It helps keep the, the plants uh, fresher for, for them to eat uh, and also keeps the humidity at a better level in the habitat for them. Now, some of these milkweeds look a little different. What's the, what's the difference between the, the two, two different types of milkweeds? Well, the two that we are having here are what they call tropical, and they have either orange or yellow flowers on them. Uh, but there are also lots of other types, depending upon what part of the country you live in. Um, and a lot of the, uh, the natural ones are, have white or pink flowers, um, and you can buy seeds uh, at the nursery store. Uh, with different different uh, different types of milkweed, and I've tried to grow a number of different types, and right now the yellows and the oranges seem to do the best here. Uh, so that's just something that you need to to try with your local nursery and see what they suggest and, and what they offer, and that will then probably grow best in your particular area. You mentioned, excuse me, <coughs> you mentioned that you have seeds for these. <clears throat> Do you, uh, if people in the local area where we are actually raising these butterflies want to actually try to do this themselves, do you have seeds that uh, they could use to start their own uh, milkweed plants? Absolutely. 
Okay, that's terrific. And, and that tray that you have to the left, that's what they're going to go on top of? This is the tray that's going to hold the plants. But we're going to go get the habitat next. Okay. That's the next part. Okay, that'll be the next part.